Hello Motion Graphics students, this is Mr. Simons and welcome to your Macintosh computer. We're going to be using Macintosh computers throughout the course of Motion Graphics so it's good for us to get familiar with the Finder and how to make files and folders here which is what we're getting started with. The Finder is how we find things within the Macintosh computer and how we navigate around inside of it. So the, the way you can get to the Finder, you can click out on the desktop and you get the Finder menu up top. You can click a Finder window down here on the dock. Now your dock is down here on the bottom and this has all the programs that are either currently running or are available for a quick click to get running. And the, the dock is set up for you and you cannot modify it, but anything you're running at a given time will show up down here on the dock like Camtasia which is what I'm using to record this screencast is showing up down on the dock. This is the student sign-on so this is precisely how your computer should look. So let's open up a finder window and get started with navigating within the Mac. So I'm going to click on the finder icon down here. I can also do the same thing up top on the file menu by clicking new finder window. The easy way here of course is your finder icon and here's our finder window so here's a few different folders within the Macintosh that are important folders for us here but let's take a look at the different ways of viewing our finder window here so here's our doc here's our document folder and there's not very much here but the different views are the icon view the list view and the list view is really good when you have a whole bunch of stuff and then the windows view which I really like a lot because you can get a view of what's inside the next thing and what it is and so there's a document there and uh, and so you know what you, you know what program created what it is and you know how big it is and that, and that can uh, really change especially with video video takes up a lot of space and then there's also this view here where you can scroll through things. Uh, really works well when you got a whole bunch of stuff. You can scroll through the different ways of viewing things. Works really great for pictures and things like that. Um, for something like the applications folder, I really like the list view because there are so many things in there and they always set up alphabetically in the folders. Okay, so the first activity that we're going to do on the computer is to create a home folder. Your home folder is where you're going to save your files. It is extremely important that your home folder stays your home folder and that you stay out of anybody else's folders. Let's take a quick look at the Bethel Online agreement that you, that you signed here and zoom in on the user will not trespass into other users folders work or files in the case where the user accidentally gains access to another users work the user will immediately close the folder and report the accidental access to the system operator if you just back out of something if you get there accidentally it's not a big deal but we definitely want to be very aware of that agreement that you have signed. You will not trespass into other people's folders and avoiding getting into other people's stuff means that they that I'm asking them not to get into yours. We have to share these computers with three different periods here and so it's really important that we do that. Okay so let's go ahead and make our home folder. We want to get into the documents folder here and then within the documents folder you want to Go here to make a new folder on the gear or up to the Finder menu, menu and make a new folder. Whatever folder you're showing on your Finder window is the folder within which that folder will be created. So here we go, new folder, and you see it got created within the Documents folder. Go ahead and name it right away so you don't have to come back and name it later. Use your initials, your period, that you have this class and the date you create the original folder. Now I use a six digit date. It saves space 
and you also can only really use periods and dashes and underscores in files and folders. Any other punctuation will get you in trouble and uh, potentially gives commands to the computer. You do not want to use slashes at all or brackets or anything like that. Those are, co those are commands that the computer might read as something else altogether. So here we have our folder. Okay, and it, and it repositions itself uh, according to alphabetical order here. And so we have an empty folder now. And uh, we can plop a couple of files into there. So let's see how we might move a couple of files from one place to the other in the Macintosh here. Let's go ahead and open up this memory device that I have. I have an SD card attached to the computer right now. And I open that up by double clicking on that memory card here. And now I have two finder windows side by side. This is the best way to move things from one folder to the other is to get two little finder windows side by side. And anytime you go up to the finder menu and hit new finder window, you can get a second finder window up and get into two different places in the computer side by side. So I want to move this Bethel online agreement over to my folder because I think it's really important to have a copy of that to refer back to. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it and drop it over and plop it in the folder. And there it appears right away. If it's a bigger file, let's try one of these videos here and, uh, and you'll see that the bigger files will take a minute and you get a little window here that tells you how long it's going to take to transfer from one place to the other. If they're with, all within the computer, this, this window won't come up, but because I'm transferring from an external storage device, it's going to take a little uh, second to do. And that's 623 megabytes, pretty big video file, and you see how quickly it goes. It go, goes very, very quickly here. All right, so um, now let's uh, go ahead and create a file. I want us to find a word processing program, and I don't seem to have one down here on my dock readily available. So now I'm going to go to the Applications folder. This is where you find all the programs that you might need to use that don't already appear on the dock. And let's go down to Pages, and Pages is Apple's word processing program. And this, uh, this works really well, and it works a lot like Microsoft Word, but I'd love for you to get familiar with it. We do have Word available on our computers, but I'm going to go ahead and use Pages for now. And open it up and create a document here. And just choosing a blank document to get started with. And I want you to do this. I want you to create a document here and just put whatever on it you, you want to. I'm just putting some gibberish just, just, just for now. And we're going to go to save this document within our folder. Okay, this is important stuff. Pay attention here as I hit save. I'm going to get this. And you always want to make sure that it's going to the correct folder. And you click this little arrow right here and that opens it up. We are in the Documents folder, but I want to make sure this goes to my Home folder. So again, we can get to the, the, the view we like here, and whichever one makes the most sense for you, it's okay. You can switch it back and forth as, as you like here, and it is untitled at this point. I want us to always use three things when we save our files, the who, the when, and the what. Okay, who, my initials. When, today's date. What it is. Test document, there. So I've indicated who created it, when it was created, and a little something about the file. The who, the when, and the what. And then I'm going to save it within my home folder. Made sure that it went to my home folder and not another folder there. So now that we have created a document and put it into a folder that we created and named all of those things, let's get back to 
that document and make sure that we can find it again. And this is one of the keys to keeping things organized in your computer is being able to find things again after you've saved them. So we go to our finder here. We go to our documents folder. We click on my home folder and there is my test document full of gibberish. So success, your task is to create a folder and name it with your initials, your period, and the date you created it. And you're also going to create a document and name that document with the who, the when, and the what. The who is your initials, the when is the date, the what is something about the file that you're saving. So have fun. Please raise your hand if you have any questions. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit in the class about Stan, who is a genius, but still didn't organize his computer very well. So have a great day, and I hope you have fun with this activity and getting into the Macintosh computer.